Hey everyone, welcome back to another Preset Biz Remake video. Today we're going to be covering Mike Candy's song Flexing, which was requested by one of you. And whoever requested this, I hate you because this is going to be a tough remake. But we're going to have a stab at it and see how close we can get today. And then come Friday we'll be doing the drops, so make sure you subscribe for that and don't miss it. But I'll stop speaking for now and we'll go and see how close we can get. So I feel like it makes sense to start with the lead sound, which is the first sound you hear, uh, and it kind of grabs you from the start. So this is the MIDI for it and here's how it sounds. Then we have a variation here. So the preset to do this sound is called The K, which you can get in Car Music Volume 3. And then I've also laid it with another instance of The K, but I've kind of tweaked the oscillator type in here, and I think I've just changed like cutoff amounts and stuff. Um, so this is how the two of them sound together. So on the processing, we've got some reverb and that's all we've got for this. So next up, we've got this plucky sound, which is adding kind of harmonic content to the whole song uh, and sort of introducing a bit of a chord sort of element to the track. Um, so this is the MIDI we've got for it and here's how it sounds. So the sound I've used for this is a bass called Me, and you can get this also in Car Music Volume 3. So I decided to go for a bass because I felt like it would be a good sound to really achieve those deep notes. But also it's got a bit of a plucky kind of sound to it, which is really sort of reminiscent of the original. So, so far this is what we've got. So same again for the pluck on the processing, we've just got the reverb. Um, it's actually the same reverb, so I wanted to kind of sit it in the same space. But the only thing I've adjusted is the wet amount, so it sits in that space still, but a lot kind of less heavy, if you know what I mean. Next up, we've got a clap, which is from Car Music Volume 4. We've then got this sweep, which is a bit of like a tonal kind of sweep, um, and also a bit of like a noisy one, uh, just introduced here before we head into this build section. I still kind of felt like there was a bit of noise slash top end missing from that sweep, so I've added in this one here. And this fits directly into this other downlifter which we've got here. So swiftly moving on to the build part, what we've got is this long snare fill which I've taken directly from uh, Main Stage Volume 1, and then I've kind of just chopped it a little bit here and there to adjust it perfectly to the original. So this is how it sounds. quite an aggressive in your face snare um, and as you can see the cuts here are just to kind of get it off beat a bit. I've then layered this snare up with another snare underneath which is a bit more of like a, uh, a rolling like marching kind of snare and it's playing this same pattern all along. But to bring a bit of life to the sound what I've done is automated the channel volume and also the mod X offset so it's kind of just getting a bit of low pass in at the start. And this just sits nicely underneath here and just ties in the whole kind of snare build section. I've then introduced this impact here uh, at the start of this build section. As always, if you've been watching recently, I like to use this one a lot because it's really easy to just throw in the project and it fills up all the top end and it just adds a lot of like kind of energy to this bit. And a small trick, if you shape the fade in amount here, you can get rid of that instant transient, which will kind of make the whole sound feel like it's being sustained a lot longer. We've then got this impact laser, which is from Main Stage Volume 1. And I'm like almost certain this is exactly the same as the original, but this is how it sounds. So now that we've covered all of the impacts in the build section, we need to cover some of the reverses and sweeps that come in. Um, so starting with this one here from Main Stage Volume 1, this is a tonal one. And as you can see, we've got some channel pitch automation, so it already kind of rises an octave, I believe, but here I've just decided to go up a whole other octave, or at least just under an octave. And then we've also got this riser here, which is adding a bit more depth to the whole kind of build. So the final key element of this build is the endless smile, obviously, which comes in and, and kind of drowns all of the sounds together in a space and gets rid of all the low end as well. So this is a really good effect to kind of wash everything out. The drop hits 10 times harder. This is how it sounds. So that's everything for this first part. We've covered the builds and the verses, but make sure you're back for Friday, which is the main part where we cover the leads, kind of drop sounds uh, and the drums as well, which should be interesting. But thank you very much for watching and let's go and take a listen back to what we did today.